There you go, you're all pretty. Are you ready for St. Patty's Day? That is so pretty. Hi, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I make these beautiful St. Patty's uh, dog collars, or dog grooming accessories for your grooming clients or for your own dog. And it's uh, very simple to make. There's one for female and one for male. So this is the female version and I am going to show you both of them. And here's for the male dogs. It's a little bit different. I just did a little bit differently. So I'm going to show you how I make these very simple, easy collars. It just takes a few minutes. Look! Oh, so pretty! You will need a glue gun, scissors, and you will need some stickers. You can use other things like buttons or anything else you find that you can stick onto the collar, but I like these uh, stickers here. They're pretty inexpensive and they look really nice. There's different sizes that you can add onto the collar, depending on the size of the collar, the width of the collar. And finally, you'll need some felt. Now this is felt and there's two different uh, kinds. They're not kinds, uh, thicknesses of felt. I got the thicker one because you want it kind of stiff. Um, the other one is, is thinner so it's not as stiff. So you want it stiff so it'll sit nice on the neck. And of course I got green for St. Patrick's Day. So I'm going to show you how I make them. It's very, very simple. Alright, so I put my felt flat on my table. And uh, basically what I'm going to be doing is just cutting a big long strip. And it's doubled over so I can cut two at a time and you just want to choose the width that you're going to be using on the dog and you can actually you know cut it wider and then cut it down the middle afterwards but I'm just going to estimate and make sure they're even yeah I'm going to do it right here Sometimes mine are a little bit crooked, <laughs> but I just fix them later on. All right, so I'm just gonna cut a line just straight across. So now you've got two really long pieces of felt and they're separated, they weren't joined together. So you have all this felt to work with. So I'm just going to put one aside and work with, with the one of them. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is take my long um, strip of uh, felt and just place it around the dog's neck. And I'm making the female one first. So I just want to put it where I think it's going to fit and maybe a little bit bigger. I think that will look nice. So I'm just going to put my thumb here where I want to cut the felt. All right, so I'm just going to cut it where I held my thumb. And this is the piece here that I'm going to be using. All right, so now I'm going to glue it together. Just take one end and just put some glue right in the end there. So I'm going to take the other side and what I'm going to do is don't just join it like that. You want to oops, cross it over like this. So it's more like a V-shape. And this is for the female. So then you get your one of your stickers and you pick which one you want. Uh, let me see. I think I'm going to pick a big one. 
So these are stick-ons, but it won't really stay, so make sure you glue it. I put glue on the outside edges. And just stick this sticker right here. Isn't that pretty? So I'll show you what I do with the males. It's just a little bit different, but that's the female. All right, so this is how I make the males. Kind of laid out almost the same way. But what I do is I take the upper corner and I just put a little bit of glue, like a drop of glue, a thick drop. Take the other side, you want to make it circular again. And what you're going to do for the male is just to attach the two corners together. Just like that. So basically it looks like, like a collar. Like a shirt. Isn't that cute? And then what I do with the stickers is uh, I put one on each side and it looks really nice. Which one should I choose? I have to get two that look the same probably. Would be best. Let me try these gold ones. There's one. These only take a few minutes to make once you get the hang of it. Just takes me a while because I'm showing you. <laughs> and like that. So you can stick whatever you like on here and just, you know, remove the glue. And look at that. Is that beautiful? So that could be for the males. That could be for the females. Or if you want to use, you know, for both, you can use either or, or just use one. You can use this for males too, and this for females, doesn't matter. I just thought, you know, it looks cute, one for each, each gender. All right, so let's try on the female one. And these just uh, flip over, you know, go over the head. They, they're a little bit stretchy, so very soft. But look at that. Wow, that's so pretty. Very pretty. Let's try on the other one. This is the male one. Oh, this is nice too. I like this like a, like a collar. <laughs> like a person's uh, shirt. Is that cute or what? Is that cute? So let's see what it looks like on, on some other dogs. And I look at this beautiful Havanese. Oh, she's so pretty. And she loves wearing accessories and she likes to to show them off and this is the female collar that I made for her and here's a, a little old a very very old senior uh, Maltese he's like 15 years old he got the male a uh, collar he's really cute and then here's another standard poodle brown standard poodle she got her uh, female collar there that looks beautiful she's a very pretty girl and here's another poodle. He's a mini poodle. And this one's a male. He looks good in it too. He's a senior dog as well. He's about 15, 15 years old. And then here's another mini poodle who's a female. And she got the female collar on. And here's a little Shipu. She's a senior too. I groom a lot of senior dogs. And uh, she's a female, so she got her female a collar on. And so all, all my clients love love the uh, accessories that I do for each like month and each each holiday. So let me know if you like my videos of making these accessories and, and if I give you ideas and I'll keep making them. And so there you go. Beautiful. Actually let's let's change it to to the female one because you're a female. Yeah. Let's see how beautiful you are. Oh, so pretty. Yeah, so it looks good on any color. It stands out on black dogs really nice and white dogs as well. Uh, so there you go. So I hope you, you like my video. Give me a big thumbs up if you like my video and let me know if you're going to be making this collar. Uh, yeah, I'm curious to know if you're going to be making this and uh, hopefully you enjoy. It is, it's not very expensive. You just get the felt glue gun, scissors, and uh, some stickers, and there you go. It just takes a few minutes to make. All right, so thank you very much for watching. What a good girl you are. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.
Bye-bye.